All right, we'll follow the same structure and we'll start with an opening statement from coach and then questions for the student athletes. Well, I thought we fought today and, and that's, the, that's the one thing we want to make sure we did is, is play without fear and, and these guys didn't. They played with no fear. We didn't start the game off very well getting down 16 to four and we thought we'd have the jitters and, and we did and we played like that. And, but we fought back, we cut it to eight. Uh, second half cut to nine and, and you know, they were good today. Duke was really good and, and they did a terrific job uh, defensively, but, but we fought and, and just so proud of how our guys, you know, just their mentality all week and, and showing no fear whatsoever. And, and that, that's, that's, when you go into a game like this, that's the first thing you want is, is just the mentality to be right. And they were, they were ready to play. Okay. Questions for the student athletes. Wesley, uh, Ryan McCullough with the Troy Messenger. We talked the other day uh, in a feature story about, you know, what it would take for you guys to, to come up here and, you know, and shock the world and, and do that. You guys played tough, like Coach said. What was it that, you know, you guys didn't come out, you know, firing, you know, dropping threes like you guys normally do. You put them up and just wouldn't go down. He's, you know, what, what was it tonight that things just wouldn't go for you? Uh, it was just, I guess it was just one of those nights. Uh, shots just weren't falling for us, but, uh, you know, we did some other, you know, things on offense good tonight, like driving the ball. But uh, I th feel like we could have cut down on some turnovers early and, uh, you know, kept it close. You know, it would have been a, you know, maybe would have altered the outcome a little bit. Michael Schumer from the Tripolitan. Uh For both players, uh, starting out, y'all looked like y'all might have had the, the jitters coming out. And then y'all settled down midway through the first half. Talk about the mentality that y'all had coming into this game and then how y'all got settled and how that mentality manifested itself throughout the game. Jordan, why don't you start with that one? Um, like you said, we had jitters, jitters coming out um, at first, but we could settle down and calm down and just try to run the offense and uh, um, try, to, try to cut down on our turnovers. At first, we had a lot of turnovers in the uh, first half, so we just had to calm, calm down and just, just try to just play basketball. But uh, I knew coming in there, there would be you know, some nerves, you know, first round of the tournament playing Duke. But uh, I guess once the, as the game went on and we you know, calmed down a little bit, we cut back into their lead and uh, got, it, got it back down to about eight and uh, late in the first half. And uh, we just couldn't ever, you know, go on that one more big run, you know, to cut it a little bit closer. Um, also for both players and, and talking about the first half, um, Cecil Hurt from the Tuscaloosa News. Um, seemed like every time in the first half you, you'd fight your way back, they'd hit a three. I think they were 10 for 17 from three. Any frustration as that was going on? Do you say, man, these guys, what do we have to do to stop them? Um, at first it was because we kept giving them offensive rebounds and second chance points, and that's how they was just hitting their uh, threes and um, transition um, um, transition buckets. Uh, we wasn't getting back um, to our mans, and they were hitting wide open trays. But but uh, we just had to realize that it's a game, a game of runs, and we just had to keep fighting, keep pushing on, and stuff like that. I know what we knew coming in that uh, you know they're a good shooting team, and uh, our turnovers and uh, breakdowns and transition, you know, led to some open looks. And uh, once they got it going, they just kept it going throughout the game. Uh, both of you guys scored in double digits uh, today. How do you hope you can use this game and propel you guys to really just like another successful season next year? Uh, well, it was a good uh, learning opportunity having the chance to come here and uh, play in the tournament. And, uh, you know, we have a lot coming back. Uh, you know, we're losing three seniors, but uh, we're a pretty deep team, and we got some guys ready to step into those roles. And uh, this is just a good opportunity for us to play on the big stage. Uh, like Wesley said, we have a lot of um, guys coming back, but after, before this game, it was a good feeling. Um, we got to use this motivation and this fire that we had before this game and uh, just try to try to come back hard and um, work during the off season and uh, just, just, try to, just try to push, push on. Ryan from the Messenger again. Guys, outside of tonight's, the, the, the ending, the outcome of tonight, how much fun has basketball been for you guys the last month, month and a half? Oh, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a fun year. Uh, whenever you have the opportunity to finally start winning some games, it just makes it a whole lot better and a whole lot in, a whole lot more to enjoy. Uh, like Wesley said, it's been a fun year, a great year. Um, 
when the uh, conference tournament started, and we know that we had we had to be stay focused. But also, we enjoyed the ride that um, we had during the conference tournament and the regular season. And um, especially when we got here, it was, it's been a it's been a great journey this year. All right, this one's for you, Wes. You and Alex both had some pretty awesome dunks in that game. Uh, got the crowd going, the Troy fans going. Talk about the support that y'all had way out here in South Carolina. Uh, the, our support th today was unbelievable. Uh, a lot of uh, Troy fans made the trip here to uh, South Carolina to support us, and uh, they've been with us, you know, throughout the whole year. And uh, they just kept believing in us. And uh, I'm just glad to see so many Troy fans here in uh, Greenville. Wes, uh, this one could be for you, I guess. Um, you guys got within single digits a couple times throughout the entire game, but what kind of stopped you from even going further than that? Uh, they play what they play well offensively and defensively as well. Uh, whenever we would try to go on those runs, a turnover or some would you know lead to some easy opportunities for them in transition, and uh, it's just hard to fight back whenever you turn the ball over. Is there anything additional for the student athletes? Thank you. You guys can go back. Oh, man. Excellent. All right, we'll get started with questions for Coach. Coach, 365 days ago, if you can remember back, you know, what was going through your mind now and what's going through your mind now, or what's go what was going through your mind then, and what's going through your mind now and where your program is? Well, you know, we had a tough ending to the year last year, and 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 but what we did is is you know we we signed three guys in the spring uh, that we knew uh, could could help push this team over the edge. We had we had eight out of our, eight of our top nine guys coming back, and we signed those three guys. So they're probably outside our office and outside our locker room. The the, the you know there's probably more hope than faith, and uh, and I understand why, but uh, but we signed those three guys. And once once they got you know got here, particularly uh, Devon Walker and, and what he added in terms of leadership, that we kind of had a void of that uh, until we got him. We we felt like we had the the ingredients, you know, to to make a run like this. And uh, we probably thought it was a year away, probably a year ahead of schedule. But uh, just to to get to where we are today, uh, from where we are last year, it, it's not only is it amazing, you know, for for the team, but it, it, it shows the craziness of coaching right now, too, uh, how, how, things, uh, how things can change. Coach, the nation definitely recognized Troy today, uh, just being out there and all, all year with the football team and everything. Talk about what's next for the entire athletic program. Well, our athletic department right now, Noah, is, is, is just enjoying you know, unprecedented success. I mean, the run that we're on, uh, as you mentioned in football and, and men's and women's basketball, it's 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 unheard of uh, for a school like this, and and uh, I just think it just builds momentum. And we were probably at a stage where we needed a year like this. We had the North End Zone project that needed to get that push. Football took care of that. Men's and women's basketball. We've been to a point where where we need to we need to try to get people regularly coming to Trojan Arena more. So we needed something like this. You can do all the marketing and promotions you want. There's nothing affects it like winning, and, and having success. So, so, you know, we've got a we've got to push like these guys were talking about, push on to that next level. But uh, this run and, and what's going on right now in the athletic department is 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 really we're in a really good spot. Coach, obviously, a little bit slow coming out the gate for y'all, and it seemed like they couldn't miss from three point range at all throughout the game, especially in that first half. Talk about how you uh, how you kept the squad together. Well, we, we were concerned about uh, two things from a strategic standpoint. Uh, their shooting, their ability to shoot the ball. If you look at their numbers, they've shot almost 40% as a team. And, and to play in the ACC a kind of, against the kind of defense they play against, and, and uh, that's, that's, that's phenomenal to shoot as a team. So we knew they were capable of doing what they did today. The other thing we were concerned about was their length defensively. And it's ironic that I think both of those concerns came out, you know, came out to be true because we really struggled to make shots against their length. We're five for 23 on threes. Then you turn around and they're 13 for 28. The third concern we have was they've been here, we haven't been there. What, what, how are our nerves gonna be? And sure enough, we get, we get down 16 to four. So we just kept talking about chip away, chip away, and get back in this thing, and we did. 
you know, to our guys' credit, because that's one of those games when you're down 16-4, it can go the other way in a hurry against a talented team like that. But we didn't allow it to happen. Our guys kept fighting, and even in the second half, I got it down to nine. But we never got it to the point where, where we made the pressure mount on them. Uh, a, a bucket here or there, and it, it kind of would have flipped the other way, and they would have had all the pressure on them as a higher seed. Coach, real quick. Uh, there at the end of the ball game, you, you made it a point to empty your bench so everybody could get the experience, but especially with and training that free throw. Just kind of talk about him and what he's a, as a walk-on guy with you. Well, we, when Witt joined the team, Ryan, he, Ryan, we didn't we didn't know a whole lot about him. Uh, just knew he was a pretty good player. You know, he's a pretty good walk-on, and uh, and and what he's added to the team, he's got an infectious personality. Uh, you see, our fans love him, but our players love him too, and and. He's done a good job, and it was it was. We had to make sure we got everybody in the game there because this is this is an incredible experience, and and it worked out good because as a coach you're worried about let's don't get you know let's make sure we get everybody in and and not get beat 30 at the same time, and and we we kept fighting and that allowed it to get all those guys in and keep the the score where it was. Anything else for coach? All right, thank you.